edibles account for somewhere between 20 and 30 percent of our our gross sales here in the shop what's happening a lot with the edible manufacturers who have focused on a hard or a soft candy is that the most cost effective way for them to bring that to the market is to use knockoff candy and so they'll buy it in bulk form and they infuse it by using a viscous hash oil they spray that onto the candy and once that candy dries, there's really no way to tell the difference between infused and, and, and candy that's, that's not infused. The problem is, is that some of these products look so similar to candy that's been on the market that we've eaten as children that there's really no way for a child or a parent or anybody even an expert in the field to tell you whether or not a product is infused or not. Once you take something out of one of these packages, put it next to something that isn't infused, it's very difficult to tell the difference. What we would recommend is if anything that your child brings home that doesn't look like it's from a company for like Hershey's or one of the larger manufacturers, whoever owns Sour Patch Kids or any of those, they don't look like something familiar you've been through. It's best just to, to toss that stuff into the trash and, and not let your child consume it. If it looks like the package has been tampered with whatsoever, we should use those same practices we've been using since I was a child that it's best to dispose of that candy. And I think that the only ones that will be upset about that are the children's dentists. <laughs>